What's going on guys? We got Viri and John um, and then Diane in the corner. Um, we're going to perform a splint. We're going to splint Viri's ankle with two SAM splints. SAM is the manufacturer. You're going to need two uh, SAM splints and then two rolls of Curlex bandages. Um, so in this case the injury is going to be like a rolled ankle. You might see reduced range of motion, um, swelling, some discoloration maybe. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is you can you can open it up but address any bleeding that's there and then go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and address <laughs> go ahead and take take PMS John how do we take PMS all right so I'm gonna feel for the pedal pulse okay um, just oh yeah I can feel it there it's oh good. yeah and then that's how do we test good. for motor and, and uh, let's see do you mind just wiggling your toes for me good great do me a favor close your eyes you let me know what I'm doing here I'm touching my toes all right pretty good all right um, and so is there any reduced range of motion uh, let's see. Do you mind just pressing down on my on my hand here, like you're pressing on a gas pedal? It kind of hurts. Okay. Kind of hurts. Okay. All right. So uh, we've noticed the injury. We've addressed it. We've we've assessed it. Um, he's taken PMS. We're getting the Sam splints out at the moment. Good. And so with this first one, John's gonna unravel it completely. He's going to place it directly under Viri's foot at the, the rear half, the posterior half of the foot. A little more uh, for posterior than that. Very good. And right in the center of the Sam splint. And then take do one side at the time. And then just very tightly feed it up the ankle. Roll it all the way up the ankle. Good. Go even higher than that. I'm going to do the other side. All right, and then John's going to grab a roll of Curlex. And you're going to come down with it. Maybe you can do 50% down each side. And then you're going to do, maybe higher than that, higher than that. Yeah. And then he's eventually going to come under the foot and then come back up. Right. This might hurt a little bit. Leaving the heel exposed. And the foot exposed, good. And then come back, come back up. And then you just go all the way up to the to the calf. Very good. And then you'll tuck it in to the top. Through the end. Awesome. And then you're gonna grab the second um, sand splint. Get it out of its uh, packaging. It's like super tight. With this second one, you're going to unravel it completely as well. Um, place it in the same area you placed it originally for the foot. And this one is just going to support everything on the side. There we go. So right in the center, and then feed it up the sides, and then create a C curve on the sides of the, the leg. Kind of just support that leg, and you're kind of splinting the foot to the leg now. Good. And then as that's in place, you're going to take another roll of Curlex. Go even start even higher than that. Yeah, that's good. And then you're taking the second Curlex and just binding everything together. Good. And then if it's too low, come back up. Um, if you guys found this patient while hiking um, and you still had quite a distance to go, you can keep the patient's shoe on um, for protection, but otherwise we would want the shoe to be off for this case. And what, how do we finish this? How do we, what's the last thing that we, we so do? So just make sure it's not uh, too tight. Yeah. Again. I left this exposed so I can still get that pulse in the same place. Great. Do me a favor and wiggle your toes one more time. Awesome. All right, one more time. Close your eyes and let me know what I'm doing down here. I'm touching my toes. That was good. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, John. Thank you, Barry. See you in the next video.